super excited to be back and uploading on this channel again. I have missed you guys so much and it's been really hard not filming YouTube videos, but if you guys didn't watch my life update video, basically we moved to a new state and for the past month we were living in a hotel while we were doing our apartment hunting and everything like that. So tomorrow we finally move into our new place, which is what you guys see right behind me. And I thought I would go ahead and film an empty apartment tour, just so that way in a couple months, once it's all decorated and furnished and things like that, I can do another video and show you the changes that I made. So yeah, if you guys want to see our new crib, then please keep on watching. All right. So when you first walk into the apartment, we have this hallway. This is our door. It's actually a pretty old building that they renovated and made into like luxury apartments. There's some uh, businesses on like the first and second floor. So everything's all re-updated and new, but they did keep like the original wood floors, or I think these are original, um, and some other things that are original to the building. But other than that, it's been completely restored, which is cool because although it's modern, it does still have a little bit of a historical charm to it, which I really love. And the first thing we have is this closet, which I'll go ahead and open up to show you guys. But it's a pretty good sized closet. We'll probably just keep like our outside jacket and shoes, maybe get like some storage bins so that way it can take advantage of how much space is in here. Because I feel like in our last apartment, we kind of just crammed everything into the closets instead of like actually organizing it. But yeah, I'll give you guys a quick overview of the entryway. It honestly makes the apartment feel so much bigger. And I was thinking of getting a painting or something to put over that. Maybe a little entryway table when you first come in so we can just put our keys, maybe any mail that we have, get a nice mirror. And then in here, there's this indent. So I was thinking we can put like some plants or something there. I don't know. <laughs> and then in here, we have one of two bathrooms. So this apartment is a two bedroom and two full baths, which is amazing because as much as we did love our old apartment, it was only a one bed, one bath. And it kind of got crowded a little bit, especially if we had people over or if it was just us two and we both had to use the bathroom. It was kind of annoying. So it's really nice to just have an extra bathroom. Hi. <laughs> On this side, we have the bathtub, which I love because it has an actual tub in it. In our last apartment, we just had a stand-up shower, which was great. But since it was glass, it was super annoying to clean. And although I'm not a super big bath taker, it's definitely nice just to be able to have the option. And this vanity has a lot of storage. I love that there's individual drawers just to keep all of our toiletries and things like that. And then if you slide this door open, we go straight into the first bedroom, which is going to be our spare bedroom slash my study room slash Frankie's gaming room. It's really just going to be an extra space for us. Really the reason, the main reason we wanted a two bedroom, two bath was one for the extra space and then two, since we are so far away from our family, we just want people to be able to come visit us as much as they want and not feel like they have to get a hotel and this room does have a closet but yeah once again i'll give you a quick overview of the guest room so as you walk out of the room we move into the main part of the apartment which is the kitchen slash dining room which i'm so obsessed and in love with this is honestly what sold us on the apartment just how spacious and modern it was and of course the start of the show is this fireplace i've never had a fireplace in anywhere i've lived so Really exciting. I'll turn it on just so you guys can see. It does omit heat and it's electric so it's not real flames, which I actually prefer just for safety reasons, especially since we're in an apartment building. Up there they have the hookups where we're going to mount our TV. So over here we have the kitchen area. It's pretty similar to our last apartment except it has the granite countertops and a way nicer backsplash. Um, but yeah, I really just love all the cabinet space that this place has. To be honest, even in our last apartment, we really didn't even use like half of the cabinet space we had, but it's always just nice to have some extra. And then over here, we have some more cabinets, and I'm actually really excited for this one. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's super big and it has some individual shelves where I can already see myself putting a bunch of stuff. And I just love when things are easy to organize. Um, here we have the fridge. And one thing that's really cool is this also has a ice machine and water maker. 
It's obviously not the end of the world if a fridge doesn't have one, but we just got really used to being able to get ice and water right in our own apartment. And some of the other places that we were looking at didn't have that, but it's just a convenience thing and we're happy to have it. And yeah, I think you guys all know what a fridge looks like. On this side, we have the island. I really love the lights that are over this. It's just super bright. Um, and then it also has a pretty good size sink. Right here, we have the built-in dishwasher. Love having a dishwasher. Especially since it's just us two. So it's not like we were always really have dishes to wash, but I don't know. Sometimes you're lazy, you know? And then under here, we just have some more cabinet space, which I'll probably just put like all of our cleaning supplies and things like that. But I'll come over here and show you guys this way too, since I came in from the other room. But if you want to get back to the door, it's right there. In here, we have the washer and dryer, which is so essential to have, especially since we're living in a city now. Definitely don't want to be lugging our laundry around. All right, so this is going to be our main bedroom. I think really all we're going to keep in here is our bed. Maybe get two small nightstands to put on the side and then that's it. I think we just want to keep the space for sleeping and relaxing and then you know if you want to watch TV or whatever else we can go out there and do that. But once again we have a really big bright window which I love. It was actually snowing earlier which is so crazy because yesterday it was literally 70 degrees so don't know what's going on with that. Here is the room from another angle. This also has a pretty decent sized closet. Um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna put our bed here because we have a queen and have it coming out this way. Or we could put it on this wall, but then again, we have the bathroom door right there. So I feel like this wall will probably be our best bet. Another thing I do love about this apartment too is that only the bedrooms have carpet and the rest of the apartment has the hardwood floors. So it just makes cleaning a lot easier and you don't have to worry about um, having spills on the carpet, especially in the living room. And then lastly in here we have the second bathroom that is attached to the bedroom. And the really interesting thing about this bathroom, but the way that it works is the tiles are all tilted towards that drain. So we already tested it out and the water doesn't really travel any farther than where that uh, vanity starts. But for if just in case it does, they have another drain there. So. I did get a shower curtain and stuff to put on there. Yeah, I just really love the whole aesthetic of this place. Really just what sold us on wanting to live here, accompanied with the extra room and just how modern it is without being like too modern, if that makes sense. Am I even making sense anymore? I don't know. All right, you guys, so that is it for this apartment tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've missed you all so much, and I can't wait to get back to regularly uploading videos for you. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part of the apartment was, and then if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you guys can see new videos from me. But until then, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay well, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.